Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So some of you may notice that I am in a different setting than I usually am and that's because I'm finally in my beauty room. So I've been saying here on my channel for months that I will be filming in a different setting and I will be filming in my proper beauty room as opposed to that plain blank cream wall that I used to film against. But I'm finally in my proper beauty room and that is because I took the plunge and purchased a ring light. So today's video is the first time that I have used this ring light. I have no idea how to light videos. I am not a photographer. I don't have any background in photography. So hopefully the lighting is okay for you today, guys. And if it's not, just let me know. So yeah, today's video is a bit of an experiment with this new lighting and this new setting, which I'm super, super excited about. And so what better video I thought than to test out my new surroundings than to do a foundation first impression and demo. So the foundation that I'm going to be reviewing today is the Revlon Colour Stay Foundation for Normal to Dry Skin. Now the reason that I thought I would do a foundation first impression for you guys today is because usually when I do them, I come back every few hours and give you guys updates on how the foundation is wearing. And because I usually used to film in natural light, when I used to come back and give you guys updates at 7 or 8 o'clock at night, the lighting was absolutely awful. Now because I have a ring light, I can come back at 7 or 8 o'clock at night and I do not have to worry about god awful lighting. So on the back of the packaging it says wears up to 24 hours and it gives a flawless look with a lightweight feel and I am in this shade 150 buff. So this version of the foundation is for normal to dry skin so the cap on this one is the black cap with like a clear topping over the top. The one for normal to oily skin is just the black cap. So as always I'm going to prime one half of my face so you guys can see how it wears with a primer and without a primer and to do this I'm going to be using the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. This I know yes is not your regular primer however it is amazing as a primer. I will link the video down below where I did a test of comparison this versus your regular drugstore primer so you can check that out if you want to. But I'm just going to pour a little bit of this onto my fingers. Oh maybe too much. And I'm going to prime which side? Um, this side of my face today, the left hand side. Okay, so now I've primed the left side of my face, we can move on to the actual foundation. So this foundation is in a glass bottle, which I really, really like, and um, you do get one fluid out, so 30 ml in this. Okay, so the first downside to this foundation is the packaging because there is no pump. I've never used a foundation with no pump before, uh, so I'm a bit worried about pouring a bit too much out. So I'm going to pour a bit of the foundation out onto the top of this plastic box. It is clean, it is just stained from all the foundation that I've got in it, and it's in fact a Ferrero Rocher box. So I'm just going to pour. So I'm just going to try and pour a little bit out onto this. It seems really runny, and I'm really scared about pouring too much. Oh, 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 okay. So I've just poured that much onto the top of that. I'm going to pop that there. And like I said, it does have quite a runny consistency. I hope the colour matches. This is actually only the second shade up that's ivory and then buff. So if this is too dark for me, I'm a bit concerned. So to apply this, I'm going to use a Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm going to take a small amount of that. Squeaky chair. And then I'm going to get my mirror. And then I'm going to start by applying this onto the prime side. Oh, actually, no, the colour's pretty good, actually. Maybe actually slightly on the lighter side, but only ever so slightly. So, so far, that's going on really, really smoothly. It's definitely, definitely lightweight. I'd probably say it is a lighter side of medium coverage maybe. I expected it to be more medium to full. But as you can see, you can still see a lot of my redness here. But that is okay because I said it is so lightweight, I expect it is easily buildable. And then moving on to the prime side. Oh, non prime side rather. I would say that it definitely goes on slightly smoother and slightly more flawlessly on the prime side and definitely blends in a lot easier. There doesn't seem to be too much difference in the coverage between both sides but we'll see once I've applied all the foundation. 
I want a complete sign game today. I am wearing my Fox Fox extensions. I love them. They are amazing. I would highly recommend them. I will link below my first impression that I've just done on the extensions. And because I've just also purchased a camera stand, I'm going up in the world. I can now have the camera far enough back away from my face that you can actually see the full or part of my body. Unlike before when you guys were like, face! Okay, so that is one layer of the foundation. Actually, once it's really worked into the skin, it doesn't seem to get a fuller coverage, but it has seemed to cover up my imperfections a bit better than I thought it did at first. It's still got some of the redness around here, but it does seem to actually be quite full. As I said before, it's definitely, definitely lightweight. It does need a bit of working into the skin. I just feel that when I first put it on, it kind of sat on top a little bit too much. And then I really had to work it in. The colour's not too bad. Maybe a slight mismatch with my neck. My face looks a bit more pink. But we can sort that out with powder and bronzer and that kind of thing. I really, really love the look that it gives the skin. It's really, really nice and glowy. I probably mattify some areas of my face, like on my forehead and around my nose. But other than that, it gives a really, really nice glow to the skin. For those of you who don't know, I do have dry skin. At the moment it is very dry skin because it is winter here in England. It's cold and damp and awful. And so I have had utterly super, super dry skin. And this hasn't clung to any dry patches whatsoever. So yeah, if you're oily, I would definitely, definitely go for the oily version of this, which as I said, is just the black cap without the kind of like clear cap on top. This would definitely, definitely be way, way, way too dewy. Do I put a second layer on? Mm. I might just put a little bit across my cheeks. On an everyday basis, I would say that this is pretty good coverage. I would probably not go any more than this. But to test it out, just for you guys, I will put a second layer just across my cheeks. And I've actually used up all the foundation that I put on there, so that's not too bad, I haven't wasted any. So I'm just going to pop that just across my cheeks and around my nose because I do get quite a lot of redness there. There we go, that's a lot better, it's covered up that redness a lot more now. Okay, so that is the full foundation application and so far I really, really like it. It is very, very lightweight, you hardly feel it on the skin. Oh, it's not too tacky actually, I thought by the look of it that it would be far more tacky just because it's got such such bright glow to it. The difference is between the primed and non-primed side. At this stage, actually not a lot. So there doesn't need to be any difference in the coverage. This side is covered up my redness really, really well. There's no difference that bright light at me. As I was saying, there doesn't seem to be any difference in the consistency or the look of the foundation. Both sides look really, really nice and dewy. Both sides feel really lightweight. And so yeah. We'll have to see how it wears throughout the rest of the day. So I always forget to tell you guys what time it is when I've acquired the foundation. So it's now half past 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. And then I'll be back in a few hours to let you guys know how the makeup has applied on top of the foundation and how the foundation is wearing. Why do I use my hands so much? Hey guys, I'm back and it's now 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So the foundation has been on for three and a half hours. So overall, I would say the rest of my makeup went on top of the foundation really, really flawlessly, and so far it's still looking really, really nice. The only place I would say, as always, I have some slight wearing off is just on the bridge of my nose here, which is where I wear my glasses. But other than that, there has actually been no wearing off at all. Usually, I might get a slight bit around my chin, and my contour has started to wear off, but it hasn't worn off at all. It's still looking really, really nice and glowy, which I love. If you didn't like that, you could always take a bit of powder and mattify it down. And then I still actually can't see much of a difference at all between the primed and the non-primed side. Both still look really, really flawless. Both have kept the foundation on really well. Neither side has started to wear off. They pretty much look identical. So yeah, so far so good. It's lasted really, really well. I'm really, really liking the foundation so far. So I will be back again in another couple of hours to give you guys my final update of the evening. Hey guys, so I'm back for my final update and it's now quarter to nine in the evening. So the foundation has been on for just over eight hours now. So I would say the fact is a pretty good day's amount of wear. So just so you guys know the wear and tear that my makeup has been through since I last updated you, I went out to my dance class first. 
so alcohol hot so I'm gross from that and then I got back and I walked out in the rain to go and get my takeaway for my tea which is why my hair looks like a hot mess right now so as I said the makeup has been on for eight hours and with any other foundation I would expect a lot more wearing off for this period of time so the coverage is still really really good the only place it's worn off a little bit more is on the bridge of my nose but as always it's on my glasses and other than that, maybe my bronzer and uh, kind of contour is worn off around my hairline, but that's only the makeup. The foundation is still on there. My contour has lasted really, really well until this foundation. It has lasted better on the crime side than the non crime side. It's not awful on the side, it's just a lot more structured on the side. I haven't noticed it cake up in any areas, maybe only slightly around this area of my nose here, and then maybe slightly between my eyebrows as well. But that is it. So yeah, overall, I would say that this foundation has lasted really, really well. So yeah, really, really great, really flawless. I love this foundation. Definitely, definitely, definitely good for people who have dry skin like me. It's not hung onto, onto any dry patches at all. My face doesn't feel dry. Usually at this point in the day, my face feels really, really dry and cracked and sore, and I have to lather it in moisturiser. But no, this feels quite moisturised and rather, rather nice. But yeah, overall, I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that first impression demo of this foundation. Now that I actually have nice lighting in the evening so you guys can actually see a proper version of what my foundation looks like at half past eight in the evening when it is super, super, super dark here in England. So yeah, let me know how this lighting looks if you want me to do anything different. As I said, it was my first video, so I'm still getting used to everything. If any of you guys have any like little tips or tricks, please let me know. I will love you forever. And so yeah, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe to my channel as well if you aren't already. I'll leave a little link box up here which will take you to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!